Hi guys, today we're learning about Nile crocodiles. Nile crocodiles are cold-blooded, which means they need water to survive or like control their body temperatures like a frog. They like, if they're too hot, they go into water and then they start cold. And then when they're too cold, they go in the sun. Crocodiles are cold-blooded, so they need water to survive. Yes, in the sun, it's too hot. They couldn't sit there all day long, so they need to go to the water. Crocodiles, when they lay eggs, they mostly lay up to 50 or more. Now, crocodiles, when they lay eggs, they, like, dig a hole and then lay the eggs in it, and then they cover up. So, the animals couldn't find it, but at least if they could sniff the eggs or watch where the crocodile is when it's laying its eggs. So, their main predators, like the crocodile eggs, are honey badgers, baboons, And a monitor lizards. So they like most of them modern lizards like um, so like the eggs. They even like to eat baby crocodiles. That means they eat the eggs and baby crocodiles. So the mom has to leave because I don't has to leave the eggs alone because I told you they're like cold-blooded so they probably will leave it but they will still like watch it when they're done in the water for swimming and when the eggs hatches the mom doesn't always know when the eggs hatches so the baby crocodile just like makes a noise and then when the mom hears the noise she digs in the dirt and then the babies are all out and then and then she will like open her mouth and full of sharp teeth in it well she's like gonna carry them sometimes people think they're like gonna eat them their babies but no they're carrying them so the babies can swim and the babies are just hatched they're they're very good at swimming already not like when we're just about to swim we need lessons but they don't they know how to swim already when they're just born so the mom carries like tw like about 20 of the baby crocodiles and then put them in the water and the crocodiles can swim and here's how you tell the difference between girl crocodiles and boy crocodiles so girl crocodiles temperature like you can tell difference between their the temperature if it's a girl then it's 85 degrees. If it's a boy, then it's more than 85 degrees. And that's like pretty much how I know about crocodiles. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.